Hello, we are going to make a doll out of two pipe cleaners, a paper napkin, a piece of embroidery floss or any kind of string that you might have that's kind of thin. Need a marker to decorate the dress or markers depending on how fancy you want to make your dress. A little glue stick and we have this little head here but you of course can make your own. We just had this one to make it a little easier and a pair of scissors. So first we'll make the doll then we'll make the dress. So first you take your pipe cleaner, you fold it in half, then twist it, and that will make her head and her legs. So here's her head, I'm twisting it like three times. Now I'm gonna make her arms and her body. So what I wanna do is make sure both her arms are the same size. So I fold it in half. There we go. And then I'm gonna start twisting it at her waist so that whenever I go up, her arms are more toward her neck. So I'm going to twist it around, twist it around, twist it around, there we go, and there are her arms, and there you have your doll, there's like the beginning of the doll, okay? Now we're going to make her dress. So this leaves you with a lot of fashion possibilities, is that what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the part that is shut right here so we'll see how then I'm going to turn it towards you so you can see like here is the here's where the the napkin folds because that's where we're going to put her neck opening so that's where I'm going to decide to make my pattern I'm just going to do a simple pattern of some stripes here you can do any pattern that you might like or you could wait till it's on her it's just a little hard to color it when it's on her body that's all so here she goes, she got stripes on this side, and then stripes on this side. You, of course, you could do flowers. You could, you could get real fancy, go get you some glitter. And do all kinds of things. You can make a short dress, you can make a long dress. The long dress will help her stand up better though. So here we go, I'm just putting that together. Okay, now, these are so fun because you can make these so cheap and make so many of them. I'm gonna cut off her neck hole, off the top where it was closed. Then I'm just gonna cut two slits right here to put her arms through. Just little slits, just, just a little, just a little tiny one, like, like a fingernail size, not even. Okay, now we're gonna put the dress on her. So now we put her arms down. Now I'm gonna open it up. It's only gonna go through the front part of the napkin. So it's not gonna go through all of the napkin layers. It's just between the first and the second one. I'm gonna stick her head, I'm gonna hold her arms down so she doesn't rip the napkin, because it's fragile, unless you have a fancy dinner napkin. Now, if you had a fancy dinner napkin, then you would have even a, a stronger dress. Just depends what kind of napkins you could get your hands on. Now, her arm is gonna come through, you just gotta be careful. There's one arm, see I ripped it a little, it's okay, because whenever you put it all back, when you put it all together, it's gonna be all right. Then, I'm gonna put her other arm through, there it comes. You just have to be real careful at that point. Okay, now, she has her dress on. Now, I'm going to take her little embroidery floss, little pink, pink and orange. I think they go together. Maybe some people don't, but that's okay. All right. Now, she has her skirt on. I'm going to tie it in the back. Of course, if you want to use a little piece of ribbon, you could put a bow. You can really fashion design with this. You wouldn't think so with the napkin and pipe cleaner, but yes, you can. She's going to have a big bow in the back. There we go. Okay. Now, she has her dress on. She has her bow. Now, she's going to get our little head. You don't even need to have this head, but if you want to put a head, see though. So, this one was color printed. But let's say you just want to draw a head. Just get a little circle of, of paper and draw yourself a head. Or don't put a head. Maybe you like her, just not. She looks very stylish even without a head. Okay, now, here we go. So here she is. Now we're going to have to cut her just a little bit here so that she, so you can get to her feet. She's, I'm going to cut this napkin up a little bit here. A little, okay, here we go. Here she is in her napkin dress. I don't know if you can see her standing up there. 
There she is. Can I see her? So you can bend her feet a little if you want. 